Hey guys, welcome back to the channel on our regular Sunday. Today we have the 10th anniversary Burnley Automatic from Melbourne Watch Company. This is basically the blue colorway of that watch. I haven't reviewed a Melbourne Watch Company watch in a very long time, and this is one of their most popular models now in a 10th anniversary edition. Let's check it out. Alright guys, we'll get into this, but first check out my Amazon shopping channel if you like any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel. As y'all know, I get a very small commission if you buy from my Amazon store, so I really do appreciate it when you do that. So typical Melbourne watch company uh, outer watch box here. You get a little pamphlet in here, yada yada yada, uh, how to care for your watch, all the stuff that nobody reads. <laughs> Alright, let's take it out of the box. Nice inner watch box here. Let's open it up. You got the little logo on top there. Real simple. I mean, nothing fancy, but very well done. Looks like you got a piece of foam back here. Let's see what's underneath the foam. There you go. You got your warranty card and your manual. There you go. So y'all can see that. All right. Let's put the foam back. Let's take the watch out. And as usual, I'll give you all the seven specs you need to know. And then uh, we'll go more into detail about this thing. I like these watches, man. I think you get a lot for your money. Uh, I don't think they're trying to take advantage of you. You get decent specs, and they're not too expensive, which is nice. Now, their designs, honestly, uh, their designs are, I don't want to say antiquated, but they're, you know, they're a little bit kind of, maybe these watches are meant for an older customer base. Um, and, you know, they're just... And this is not a dig on Melbourne Watch Company, but I think maybe they need to, I don't know, make some new designs. Uh, all their designs, again, they're just like a little antiquated. They're like from another generation. And some people love that. I mean, obviously, you know, they sell a lot of watches, so they're doing something good. But just me personally, I would like to see some new, fresh, innovative, different designs from them. Uh, the quality of the watches is fantastic. That's not the problem. The quality, the movements, the fit and finish, you know, the assembly, all that's great. It's just the designs uh, I think need to be refreshed. Anyway, with that being said, Melbourne Watch Company, take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> you guys obviously know what you're doing. You're selling a ton of watches. Anyway, that's just my personal opinion. All right, so uh, let's give you all the seven specs you need to know. And again, I'll put all the rest of the stuff down there in the description field for you. You're looking at a 42 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 10 millimeters thick, so pretty thin. Uh, a lug to lug is 48 millimeters. It does come on a integrated bracelet, which is kind of cool. Uh, water resistance is only 50 meters, which is 165 feet. Not a dive watch. This is definitely a dress watch. You do get the Miyota 9015 movement with a 40 hour power reserve. You do get a sapphire crystal. A uh, 3 o'clock non-screw down crown over here at 3 o'clock. Uh, it is windable. It is hackable. Uh, again, all the other stuff, like it's 191 grams. I basically told you everything anyway. Uh, check down there in the description field if you want to see everything else about it. Uh, firstly, I love the color of this. It's kind of like, it's not really a Tiffany blue. I don't know what type of blue you would even call this, man. But I do like this color. I think it's a really cool looking color. Uh, the case kind of reminds me of a Tissot PRX. Let me go ahead and put one of those over there to the left. Y'all can make your own um, judgment there. Uh, it kind of reminds me again of that watch, but it is different. The indexes and everything are different. The indexes are applied. So the only thing that's loomed on here are the hour and minute hands and then the 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock indexes. And the 12, 3, 6, and 9 have a razor thin application of loom on the index. Uh, the rest of the indexes are not loomed. Uh, again, you got that kind of really interesting kind of like satin finish on the uh, dial. You got the Melbourne Watch Company logo up there at 12 o'clock. You got Burnley, and then you got Automatic and like a red font underneath the Burnley font. Um, I think it's a good looking dial, man. I think it's a really good looking dial. Date window is fantastic. You got that gold border around it with the white background with black font. Uh, and also the hands are uh, gold plated as well. So, and then if you look at the second hand right there, you can see it's got the counterbalance, that big M for Melbourne Watch Company on the back side there. Pretty cool. The hour hands and minute hands are kind of like a sword shape in a way. Uh, I think it's a good looking watch. Crown, crown is non-screw down, but it is signed. The crown guards, 
completely protect the crown. As you can see, they are flush with the end of the crown there. Pretty cool. No bezel really to speak of. Uh, you have some polished surfaces on the top right there. You have some polishing on the bottom of the bezel. Uh, the rest of the case looks like it's pretty much brushed. Links, really nice again. Integrated bracelet, pretty cool. You got that center portion right there. This has a dual butterfly clasp, which I've never been a fan of. That's just me personally. There you go, but it is well done. There's your case back. You got a decorated rotor. As you can see, this is the 10th anniversary edition. So you got that decorated gold rotor right there. Pretty cool looking. It looks like you have some Geneva stripings on the movement as well. Uh, again, this is a screw in case back, not screw down. Hence, you can see the little screws. Looks, looks like it's what, um, six screws? You can see the little red stripe for the uh, protective uh, piece of plastic on the uh, the back of the uh, the rotor there, the back of the case. There you go, man. Interesting watch. I think, again, very well done. Super thin. I like how thin it is. Really good looking watch. Very well made. You can tell the fit and finish is on point. You get a lot of, it's highly polished there for the uh, butterfly clasp. Again, I just don't like this clasp. It's just, that's just me personally, man. But it's, it's well done. If you're into these clasps, it is well done. Let me go ahead and try it on here real quick. It is really big out of the box for me. I have an eight inch wrist. So it's it's got a lot of movement. So I'm guessing this is probably like nine inches out of the box. But uh, there you go. Look Good looking watch, man. Again, there's that satin kind of blue. I don't know what color that is, man. Really cool. Almost has like an iridescent property to it. Almost. All right, let's go ahead and take this thing off. I'm going to show you this loom. Again, you're not going to be wowed because the application is just really sparse. Again, this isn't a dive watch, guys. So, I mean, you know, what did you, you know, kind of what did you expect? All right, let me finish putting this bracelet back together. All right, let's go ahead and kill the studio light. Let's kill these monitors. And let's check out this rather weak application of loom. You know, again, it doesn't have to be a strong application because this isn't a dive watch. So you're going to see the hour and minute hand, and then I don't know if y'all are even going to be able to pick up, yeah, I guess you can now, pick up the uh, 12, 3, 6, and 9 indexes, that razor thin application. There you go. There you go. And then what you're seeing now is just how shiny the other indexes are. They do not have any loom on them, but they're very highly polished. That's a good looking watch for sure. Good looking watch. Again, you know, I just wish she would come out with some, maybe some more dive watches. You know, I love dive watches. So they could just come out with maybe some more dive watches or just some other designs. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know what it is, but they're very well made. They're absolutely a very well made watch. So, and I want to thank them for sending me this example over, by the way. Um, I like these watches. I really do. I think you get a lot for your money. Just go try to think of anything else that I might have forgotten to tell you about this thing. Guys, that's really about it for this one. Uh, tell me what you think of these watches. Do you have a Melbourne Watch Company watch? Do you have a Burnley? Do you have maybe, I think it's what, a Port C, a Fitzroy? They have a couple different models out there. Uh, tell me if you have one of their watches and what you think of this brand in general. I like them. Again, I want some new designs, guys. Give me some new designs. <laughs> Uh, but that's about it. Anyway, guys, if you want to pick up one of these, it's over on Melbourne Watch Company's website for $577. Uh, again, I think you get a lot for your money. These are very well-made watches. I'll make sure to put a link in the description field for you down there in the description. And guys, it's been about it for this one. I got a whole bunch of new stuff coming up. The holidays are coming up. Obviously, tons and tons and tons of new watches are coming out. So uh, I'll try to get as many as I can here on the channel for you. Anyway, with that being said, I will see you all in the next review. Take care. Bye-bye.